Outlook for Energy Futures on the week starting September the 22nd. This is WTI crude oil. We had a really nice bullish pattern uh, candle formation at the beginning of last week. Uh, we had this little double bottom with these spikes lower. This almost like a tweezer bottom here, double bottom around good support, good uh, longer term trend line support. Actually, I think it's a four and a half year trend line that we bounced off. Uh, on Tuesday it was followed by a lovely big blue candle which I really thought was going to push us higher. We'd, we closed then above 94.50 which is an important uh, fib resistance but it wasn't to be wasn't to be sustained unfortunately. Uh, we, uh, we were back below there on Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday just sank. So um, we've rejected that important fib resistance at 94.50 even though we managed to close above it on Tuesday uh, and this doesn't look good at all. Uh, it does look like we're going to continue lower. Uh, if we get below this trend line today, which is going to be 91.75 area, then it looks like we're going to be retesting these lows. Uh, it's, Im it's important, these lows, and we did get a decent double bottom off there. Uh, we've got a double bottom on the weekly chart as well as the daily chart. So the 90.70, 90.50 area is going to be important again this week. It's absolutely key. We could get a bounce off it, but I'm starting to think that that the next test of that trend line is going to see a break lower and that will start the next leg lower. This won't look good at all for oil if we break the 9040 area uh, and uh, it could trigger some some big stops actually as well so you could quite get quite an aggressive move to the downside. Brent crude spent last week bouncing around within a two and a half point range from 97 double O up to 9960 um, possibly more of the same this week I think this is a continuation pattern. I think this is just a sideways movement to unwind a bit of a short-term oversold situation before the next leg lower. So uh, just watch that two and a half point range again this week. You can see in the middle of there we've got 98.50, 98.60 which is acting as a level. So really it's a case of watching those three levels trading around there. Should be able to take some money out of that while we stay in that range and then watch for the breakout. Obviously if we get through 99.60 last week's high that would be more positive and we'll have some upside targets and some selling opportunities on the sheets uh, on the morning report if if that happens but I think more likely is a break below 97.00 eventually and continued moves to the downside sticking with this three month bear trend looks the most the safest scenario and, and I do think it's, it's likely that we will continue lower eventually. That gas is another one that's been in something of a range but this one's been ranging for a good couple of months now um, from just above the 4000 level down to the 90, down to the um, 37 and a half, the low 37 area. Uh, it does look like we're going to break lower eventually. Who knows when? It's been such a long time that we've been going sideways. But I think that this uh, the bear trend that started in, in the summer will continue eventually uh, when we break lower. So just watch for that break. Uh, levels are on the reports, of course, but I do favour the downside.